Hey folks, and welcome back to the channel. Happy Catty Crypto here, and we've got Crypto Bubbles up just to get the video going, just to see how the market's looking, how things are going, and how things are reacting. Now, we have just crushed a zero. I don't know where it went, but it's somewhere behind us right now. The most important thing with what's going on is enjoy this, okay? Enjoy this. We've been waiting for what seems like forever. Content after content after content after video after video after video with the amount of comments of people just saying it's dead, it's done, it's finished, it's over. Never count us out, never count us down, never ever doubt this system. We've been in a point of building. Uh, we've been going through a huge blossoming stage and now we're currently coming out of the back end. We've spoken about so much that's just been going on things are moving fast. If we head over to station, we have got a software upgrade proposal up. This is proposal 11561. So important. Head over, get voting if you feel like doing it. We'll be making our vote at some point today, probably after this video comes out. But I'm ever so very excited just to see this kind of movement because Ultimately, we've got a lot going on in the sector. We've got a lot of different things going on. USTC possibly going to be going for an incremental repeg. BTC is looking healthy. The macro scale is looking healthy. And guess what? The SEC just tried hitting us with the biggest bomb they could. And look, look what's happening across board. People are starting to understand that this is what the media do. This is what governments do. They're all corrupt. They play it by the book. They bend the laws to best suit how they need to approach things. But ultimately, Gary Gensler is a bull in a china shop and his day is going to come and he's going to reap what he has sown. I honestly believe Gary Gensler will be used at some point as a scapegoat, more or less for the United States government to say, well, hey, look, you know, this was all Gensler's approach. We have a completely different approach. We don't want crypto to be going elsewhere. We don't want you to be building in other countries. I think a big U-turn's on the horizon and I think they're doing the best they can to just keep crypto as suppressed as, as possible. But ultimately, crushing that zero for us, is it's really important to start now coming back out of this area and instead of seeing these really bleak recovery stages, actually seeing really healthy recovery stages, as soon as the market finishes doing what it's doing, everything starts to go, oh, well, we're going to move back up a little bit now. All of a sudden, boom, Terra Classic and other coins in our sector are starting to go back upwards. This is a really good site. It's really good for us to see. And like I said, we need to appreciate these things when they happen. And like I was saying, like, like everything starts to go back up in price. So like node operators, right? Things are going to become more easy for them. The stress on our shoulders is going to be alleviated a little as that price of LUNC goes up and those who have high commissions should then start to reduce their commissions to reflect the price change. And that's kind of some of the positives that will come from these positive price reactions because ultimately you want the best commission rate that you can find. You know, even if you're a diehard supporter, you stake with us regardless of our commission, you're still going to want the best commission rate that we can provide you. And that's what we want here. That's what we want to be able to do for the community. We want to be able to put past you the positive sentiment that we're seeing, we're feeling. So it's kind of like, you know, on the news you hear about, oh, the price of oil has gone down, but the price of petrol at the pump has remained the same. And you just don't seem to see that reflection, whereas with what we're doing, and I believe with crypto, is you know, you, you you're supposed to see those reflections. You're supposed to see the benefits and the greater good of these price pumps. Really, really interested to see this. We can look at other coins in the sector, like USTC. It's moving, but it's not moving as fast. We seem to be breaking out rather quick. If we look at BTC, ultimately, it's just it's just coasting sideways. If anything, coming down a little bit here, slight downtrend. So ultimately, when you look at this, we are the driving factor, it seems. And a lot of people have got loads of different ideas and everybody's entitled to their opinion. But ultimately, my humble opinion with this is we're the driving factor. We're showing everybody on the outside that, hey, look, we can act appropriately. We can act professionally. We're not bickering with each other on Twitter and washing our laundry in public. We're having professional podcasts, professional conversations. We've got software updates. We've got social media rules for the teams now where they just simply can't go and do these stupid things which lead to them it's ridiculous because 
you know, if you worked for a big company and you was to go do that sort of thing with a big company, you'd lose your job. And it's it's so easy for people to act these ways behind keyboards. So I think having these kind of rules in place really does help. So if we move back over to station, just to kind of tie up this video at the end, really looking at this um, upgrade, everything we know is in this upgrade, but some of the things that I've seen um, about this, we'll be doing a video on the Commonwealth at some point uh, this week as well. I'm just grabbing a little bit more information uh, on it. We're moving from what I can tell from Agora to, to the Commonwealth. I don't believe there's been sufficient um, announcements on this for people to realize and not everybody looks into things that deeply but ultimately everything's moving to the commonwealth but this this is everything that we've been going through and you know i'm really excited out of everything to see this get put into play to see a balance be put back into the harmony of this blockchain it's not healthy for one node to have eight nine ten percent voting power you don't see it on other blockchains you don't see it on lunar it's not happening elsewhere this needs to happen because ultimately nothing's ever going to change. These big validators have built up so many coins during the time when new validators couldn't join. They were the only ones getting rewards. And believe me now, those rewards were in the billions for individual validators. So a lot of them have amassed coins and it's just, it's never going to change unless we bring special kind of, you know, barriers and limiters into place to, to prevent these things from happening. Because you know, if you allow 100 people to vote for a certain thing and they've got a choice, you know, choose to benefit the broader consensus or choose to benefit, I don't know, the 100 people. They're going to choose the 100 people, sadly. We see it across board a lot of the time. There's a project, I'm not going to name it, but I, I loiter around in certain chats. and I, I see a project and, you know, them the people that are supporting the project are are making votes and these votes they're always choosing what benefits them best and it's like I'm watching the, this project slowly kind of like die and, and lose its sense of like where it's going because ultimately they're trying to make their consumer base happy but their consumer base is so small that they're only getting around 20 to 30 of them actually voting so ultimately your project's being controlled by 30 20 to 30 greedy people that only want to benefit what benefits them and not understanding that hold on hold on a minute i've invested in a project it's better for me to aim for the greater good of this project because ultimately if i just choose what's best for myself it will just fail and then guess what your investment's worth nothing so having these five percent commission rates come into play is so vital there's a lot coming for this upgrade i'm hoping it goes off without a hitch knock on wood other than that folks you know enjoy this like i was saying when we get into these times of moving upwards, you know, you if we see something like a 13x again, right? Take profits. Okay, don't be scared. Okay, secure your investments. But like I was saying, none of this is financial advice. It's just mere ramblings of a guy behind his desk talking to you. Beware of scammers. Beware of doppelgangers. Beware of anybody pretending to be me. Stay safe. Stay humble. Stay aware. And guess what? I'll catch you in the next one. Shoop.